What is going on YouTube in today's episode of Rad Dad Life? Uh, Rad Dad got a new Rad Mobile. Hence what I'm calling my new F-150. It is a 2023 F-150 XL. So yes, it is not the fanciest one. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but it had everything that I needed that kind of checked off my boxes. And my boxes weren't extravagant or fancy. It didn't include any of that stuff. So what this truck's included, was the V8 engine. I wanted that. I wanted something that was tried and true and tested and has been in, in the works, uh, especially the Coyote, which is what this engine is called for the V8 or the Ford's V8. It's been in, it's at least the fourth generation. It's been around forever. I wanted something tried and true. I didn't want all that fancy technology. It's cool, but it breaks down over time, or at least I'm, I'm always in fear of it breaking down over time. And So I don't have any of those fancy features. I have a nice computer screen. I'll show you guys here in a little bit cloth seats it is the bench in the front which i actually really really like i think it's 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 kind of cool it brings back good fond memories for me and i can't wait to when my boys are obviously are old enough and heavy enough and tall enough to sit in the front with me i think it'd be really fun and cool um, also i wanted four by four and i wanted a locking rear differential those were the and a crew cab so these are all the must that i wanted a plus is it is the six and a half foot bed uh, I always wanted the truck with a six and a half foot bed because I do find myself doing a lot of home projects or a lot of projects in general. Even just putting my bikes back there, they didn't even fit uh, in a regular cab. The five seven, I think, is the normal. Looking for a crew cab is essentially, and for it, it's the bigger back seats. So V8, not that fancy technology, bigger back seats, and four by four with the locking differential. Those are all things that I had check off that I wanted in a truck. And obviously, an XL fit that description perfectly. There's XLT, but that was another ten thousand dollars more, and I just couldn't, I couldn't justify that. Or the FX4 package that I couldn't justify. They gave you beefier shocks, but honestly, I'm better off choosing the shocks, which I already did. I went with Icon coilovers, front and rear, and they're way better bang for your buck. Plus, I get to pick my bigger tires, and I get, I uh, yeah, I bought the basic rims. But I'm also gonna trade those out. I'm um, gonna order a pair of, I think it's called four wheel drive. They have a lot of locations. They have one close by to me. They have a sale going on now. Buy three rims, get one wheel. I'm getting used to calling them wheels or rims, but buy three wheels, get one free. Then I'll also get some tires. Uh, whatever is the best bang for your buck, honestly, is what I'll end up getting. And already that tr this truck will already been leveled with coilovers, better suspension than what it comes with stock beefier tires, 33s is what I'm thinking I'm gonna get, and nicer wheels. Already the truck's gonna be great. It's gonna have the four by four, the locking differential. And like I said, I did always want the bigger bed. I did a lot of home projects and just generally a lot of a lot of things I do with the bed of the truck and a 5.7, which is I think the, the what they usually come with, always just felt so just cramped. I feel like I just needed more space. So I'm stoked to have the six and a half foot bed. Not the best for off-roading, but I don't intend doing crazy off-roading, but I definitely do intend doing some off-roading with my boys. I think they'll like it being out there and exploring, just having fun. And Here she is. No bed liner, so I'll go ahead and I'm gonna spray the bed liner in myself. I'm looking at the Herculiner. I already got the boys' car seats in there. Nice and just super spacious. Got their shoes, their monster trucks. Obviously, always got to have your emergency life-saving equipment in here, here, you know, quick clot, all kinds of stuff in there for life-saving emergencies. It did come, it did came with the vinyl, which is kind of cool. I'm, I'm still debating if I want to do a liner on top of the vinyl just to protect the initial floor. It seems kind of foolish because this is obviously waterproof vinyl, so it's kind of foolish to put something on top of this, but... I don't know. Something about makes me want to put the Husky liner so if water spills, at least it's like it's contained, I guess. Here's the front, cloth seats, nice, comfortable. You know, a big fan of American flag, anything. Small little display right there. But you know what? It tells me a lot of information on this guy. It tells me like if I'm off-roading, it tells me my pitch and my angles that I'm at. For hauling, it tells you like uh, how the weight distribution is. When you're going in four by four, it tells you weight distribution or it tells you where the power is to what wheels. 
for being a basic XL, I mean, that's a really nice touchscreen. I like the actual knobs. I'm always a big fan of actually having knobs to do the job rather than relying all on touchscreen. So I'm a big fan of this. Everything I need here, brake controller, two high, four high, four low, and the rear lock, the uh, locker. I don't have that fancy, which I did wish. I mean, what does it cost? Like $10 to get the double glove box. I wish I had that, but it's fine. This seat comes up and I do have uh, under seat storage here, which is perfect, is all I need. Definitely a lot of plastic, no real soft touch plastic at all. All hard plastic, but I don't really care. That doesn't bother me none. My arm sits here, relaxes. The other hands on the steering wheel, I really don't matter to me. Lots of storage in here. Lots and lots and lots of storage. <clears throat> Super high ceilings for any adult. This is the 6040, so these obviously are not going to come up because I have the car seats, but on the very end, it does come up just in case I need some storage. But just a great amount of storage everywhere. You have a little uh, drop down cubbies for some drinks and a USB-C and a regular USB and the car heater charger old school port. The middle seat, it doesn't recline, so it sits pretty upright. Definitely not very comfortable for an adult, but for kids or really small adults like my mom, who's pretty tiny, it's actually not too bad. The tailgate isn't dampening, isn't, isn't dampening, dampened, damp, doesn't dampen. I don't know, it's hard to say, but it's uh yeah it definitely you need to catch it but i mean whatever i don't need that fancy right, stuff i also did buy a cold air intake um i saved a lot of money on the coilovers because i did buy an open box one american trucks did have pretty great customer service and pretty great deals on the open box they gave a great description with pictures of everything that's included of the actual item itself so i felt really confident in purchasing the coilovers even though they were open box but with that money I saved, I probably should have saved it, but instead I rolled that money over to a cold air intake. The tie downs that you attach here. So I'll go ahead and I'll put a couple pictures up of the truck, different angles. Overall, I love the truck. There's always things you're always gonna want, um, but it's all about making, at least where I am in my life now, is making smart decisions. I could have sprung for the top end, but the payments on this, the deal that I got, 1.9% interest, Honestly, it just all made sense for me to buy this and not put anything down, be comfortable with the payments, and be able to buy coilovers, a leveling kit, or coilovers that level the truck with rear with tires and wheels and a cold air intake and the bed liner. With all that stuff, my truck's gonna be exactly what I want with any of, without any of that fancy stuff that I'm always worrying that can break. If you guys have any questions about the truck, why I chose the truck, why well, I went from the Ram to the Ford. Leave them in the comments. I do read them all, I do reply to them all. We'll do some reviews and we'll walk through everything getting put onto the truck, hopefully within the next two, three weeks. As always, have a right day, guys.